Hi, I'm Simon from ChatSDK. Today we're going to be looking at how to add the Android ChatSDK to your custom project. I've got a very simple project set up here. Press for chat and once we're finished it will load the login session for the ChatSDK. Before we start it's worth noting that there's going to be a few places we're going to be copy pasting code into the project so having another window open while you watch this with the code to copy in will be useful. But let's get started. First of all, you need to have downloaded a copy of the Android Chat SDK. In this case, I've got a Git repo in the project folder next to the one I'm working on. The important thing here is to know where it is so we can link to it when we add the files. Next, click File, New, and then Import Module. We're going to be importing all the modules required for the Chat SDK into your current project. Click the buttons at the end, and this is where it becomes important to know where you've stored your chat SDK. So here I have found mine here. Click OK. And now you need to decide which modules you want to import. Obviously your project already has an app module, so we don't want to import that. And all the others should be automatically imported. You do want to import all of these, so if uh, Generator or Firebase plugin aren't imported, click the tick and then click to import and finish. Now that we've done that, you might notice that you've got a couple of errors appearing in your project. That's because we still need to add some code before your project will compile. Go to the, your app and then load up the Gradle properties file. You now need to copy in the following code. These set the minimum builds and the Android build versions for the chat SDK. Next you need to load up your build.gradle file and the project one. You'll see in the documentation that there's a few specific lines that you need to add. The first is in the repositories section. You need to make sure you have the JCenter and the Maven Central. Next, you need to make sure you have the correct dependencies. It's worth noting here that as of this tutorial being written, the dependencies are at the correct ones. It might be that you need to tweak them a little bit as later versions come out. Now, when you compile and sync, the project should compile as hoped. What we need to do next though is add a little bit more code to ensure that the project runs properly. So load up your build.gradle module app and then add the following line to make sure we have access to the Firebase plugin. As so. So now we've added the chat SDK to your project. Now we want to actually load the chat SDK on a button click. Load up your main activity and before we add the button code we need to add the following code. We will copy it in. The importance of this code is that it actually starts the chat SDK when your app runs. There's a few different things that happen in the background with the network manager and the ChatCat network adapter that set up the chat SDK when your app loads and so this code needs to be added in the onCreate method of your main activity so that the chat is ready to go when you want it to. You also will need to add a couple of imports to ensure that the app knows where to look for these specific things. If you're still getting read then it'd be worth syncing your files with Gradle just to ensure that it knows where everything is. Now that that's done, the last thing we need to do is load up the chat SDK when we run the app. So as you can see here, I've got an on-click listener waiting for the button to be pressed. So in this case, we want to create a new intent and then start the chat SDK login activity when it's been pressed. It's worth looking through the code again as there's a slightly different way to do this if you're loading it not from the main activity but it's 
pretty similar. The last thing we need to do is load up the Android manifest and add an activity so the app can load the login activity. Now we should be completely ready to go. Load up your simulator. I'm just going to uninstall this app. And when we run the app, it should load the app, and when we press the button, it will load the chat ready for login. After a little bit of waiting, it should load up as you can see. Now when we click the press for chat button, it loads the chat screen. If you try to load up and log into the chat SDK now, it will crash. And this is because the chat SDK links the package name of your project with the Firebase account that you load it to. In this case, you've got a new package name for your custom project and you're trying to log into our test accounts on Firebase. They won't be configured, so the app won't log in. In the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to configure the chat SDK and the Firebase account on Android. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Uh, feel free to subscribe or like this video and look out for more in the future. Thanks and bye-bye.